Now, your KSBW weather forecast with meteorologist Gina DeVecchio. Good Tuesday morning, everyone. Let's start down on the Gulf Coast where we had what was Hurricane Ida, a Category 4 hurricane, a strong Category 4 with winds of 150 miles per hour as it made landfall in Louisiana. Uh, now you can see those watches and warnings around the area. All of that green, those are flash flood watches, warnings, and um, that's going to continue all the way up to the East Coast, to the Northeast. Also on orange, I want you to see, uh, that's the heat that Jared was talking about. Very dangerous situation when they are out of power and it's going to be hot, it's going to be humid. You also see some showers and storms developing along this front. Now that front will push through and cool them down uh, by tomorrow, but it's still very hot out there uh, and sticky. Then the storm system makes its way uh, up the mountains. These mountains that are already saturated already saw flooding with what was uh, Tropical Storm Fred and then also Henri up in the northeast and that's just going to hammer down even more rainfall anywhere from about two to six inches uh, with that storm as it does make its way off the coast. As for us, we're going to see some uh, uh, possible moisture in Southern California. That's from the Four Corners region. That's monsoonal flow uh, coming up and you can see that it, uh, influencing Southern California. Unfortunately, Northern California still dealing with hot, dry and gusty conditions. That's why there's a red flag warning. And unfortunately, that's around the Dixie fire, uh, the largest fire in the state, and then the Caldor fire, the one that is uh, unfortunately leading to those evacuations in South Lake Tahoe. And here is why that fire is extending over towards the east because of those southwest winds. Lots of forest in that area, uh, and that is continuing to burn more acres over 186,000 acres there with very dry conditions. As for us, let's be grateful for our marine layer, bringing us some mild to cool conditions. Uh, temperatures in the 60s to 70s at the coast. Cooler inland as well. Still 85 in Gilroy, Morgan Hill. Some low 80s in King City and Greenfield. And then you can see around the Monterey Peninsula, lots of 60s to 70s. 70 for Monterey. And we're going to stay in this range pretty much all week long. Maybe a little cloudier by the end of the week. Sunnier for the holiday weekend. And Labor Day itself looks like one of the warmest days of the forecast with lots of 80s inland, maybe some low 90s. Just